Suriname has banned the use of mercury altogether. Um, we do believe that some of the mercury being imported into Guyana is crossing the border into Suriname because it is banned in Suriname, it is smuggled from Guyana, we believe. It is because of this suspicion that Trotman noted the two countries will be working closely together. We believe that this is what is happening and this is why we are going to be working closer with Suriname and with our partners, Conservation International, World Wildlife Fund and others to, to bring this matter to a point of, um, of satis a place and point of satisfaction. When I look at the figures, I'm, I'm amazed at the volume of mercury that has been imported into Guyana recently. And given the, the amounts of gold that we're getting, this mercury can't all be used in Guyana. So I suspect, and that's just a suspicion of mine, that it may be going elsewhere um, where it has been restricted or banned. Because I don't believe that all of it is being used in Guyana or it is being stockpiled. I don't know for what purpose. The two large companies of uh, Troy Resources and Aurora Gold Mines neither use mercury. The minister further informed the gathering that he understands it is an ongoing phenomenon which cannot be eradicated but rather reduced. We're not going to pretend that we can eradicate a smog and bring it to zero. We can, however, uh, be very vigilant and curb and in fact reduce significantly the incidence of smuggling. In addition to the smuggling of mercury, Trotman also said that gold is being smuggled. We do have an in in instance, somewhat acute, of smuggling of gold. We believe that we have, um, better, we have a better understanding of the phenomenon. Nonetheless, it continues and we are striving to curb it. The minister nevertheless said that an investigation into the matter will be launched. Davina Ramdas for the Evening News.